So with nothing else to talk about regarding Halo and Halo Infinite right now, it seems that there's more drama on social media regarding the game. Aussie Antics tweeted that the gaming industry is in a weird spot right now. I feel like a lot of people are passing time waiting for something to happen. And Nick Merckx replied with a little gif of Master Chief doing the head nod. Another user tweeted back at him and said, I think this is what a lot of people are waiting on to see if it lives up to the hype. Question is, will content creators stick around long enough if it's just Arena and no BR at all? Not even in the future. And Nick responded, I'm gonna keep it a buck. It's probably gonna be hot for two weeks and fall the F off. No BR. Last three Halos were low tier in comparison. We'll see though. Honestly, just excited for something new. Zero expectations so there's really two parts of this that i want to get into the first part is how people have responded to nick Merckx in that thread and in sub tweets and in other areas of content creation basically discrediting him and calling him a call of duty fanboy when in reality i don't think that they know his history in competitive games it's not like he hasn't played gears of war or halo for that matter and I just feel like a lot of the time people really feel offended when somebody says something about their favorite game or their favorite franchise or, you know, they critique it in some way. I, too, am worried that, you know, Halo Infinite is going to be super popular for like two weeks, three weeks and then fall off as well just because it's not fun or there's not enough content. And I don't really think that he's being facetious when it comes to the last three Halos were low tier. Halo Reach had its problems. Halo 4 had its problems. Halo 5 as well had its problems. But the fact that he says he has zero expectations, I think, is something that should be noted. As somebody who's just maybe a fan of the franchise who doesn't play it or create content around it right now, he just wants the game to be good, fun, and enjoyable. But a lot of people did not take that as what he meant, and there were some vile comments that I'm not going to show. Now, obviously, the biggest issue that people have with this is the talk of the Battle Royale mode. And while I don't think that Halo needs a Battle Royale, especially at launch, I just think that it would be fun. I do really feel like Halo would benefit in the long term from having a game mode like that. And while people always say that they want to see Halo not follow trends and be innovative and set the trends, I don't know why there can't be a compromise here in Halo creating some special Battle Royale mode. At launch, I don't think there will be a Battle Royale, like 150,000%, there's not going to be one. But after a year or so, after they get their footing with the franchise and the game and content and all that other stuff, I do expect the game to expand. Personally, I'm greedy and I would love to have both. Also, I'm not the biggest Battle Royale player. I play Apex Legends, that's the most enjoyable BR to me. And even then, it's not something that I let my gaming time get consumed by. But if there was a Halo BR and it was fun and, you know, all that other stuff, I could totally see myself playing that a ton as well as the arena mode. Truly, I just want the game to be good in whatever direction 343 decides to go in. With that being said, I think we all need to be a little bit more respectful on social media, but that's a video for a different day that I'm never going to make. Let me know in the comments down below your opinions. I know a lot of you don't want a BR in Halo, and that's fine. I completely understand. I just think it would be fun. If you guys and gals enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.